Hello everyone. Welcome to Achievers IAS classes. Let's begin our discussion on the current events of the day. That is 14th December 2017. The first issue in news today is regarding the constitutional validity of section 497 of the Indian Penal Code which deals with adultery. As we have seen in my previous videos, section 497 of the Indian Penal Code always treats women as the victim and the husband as the offender. According to the provisions under section 497, there is no commission of adultery if it is practiced with the consent of the husband, thereby treating women as the property of the husband. Therefore, this provision is discriminatory both from the men's perspective as well as for the women. That is, it violates the concept of gender neutrality. Therefore, the editorial in the Hindu today is arguing for repeal of the outdated provision under the Indian Penal Code as it serves no real purpose in the modern day. The issue is important given the various issues concerning women, right from entry into religious places to the Uniform Civil Code. I have discussed the issue in further detail in my previous videos and those who have missed it can go back and watch the same. With that, Let's move on to the next issue in news today, which is regarding the recent Supreme Court order to the government to hold a meeting of all the stakeholders, including online search engines like Google, Yahoo, etc., to ensure that no materials which violate the provisions under the PCP and DT Act are hosted on the internet. According to Census 2011, the child sex ratio has dropped to 919 females per for every 1000 male compared to 927 during census 2001. This is a worrying trend and has to be arrested as soon as possible. Therefore, it is important for us to know the various provisions under the PCP and DT Act. The Act prohibits sex selection both before as well as after conception. It regulates the use of prenatal diagnostic techniques and permits their usage only in a few cases and not for the determination of sex of the fetus. It further mandates that no person, including the technician who is performing the procedure, can communicate the sex of the fetus to either the pregnant woman or her relatives through any means. The stringent provisions under this act also bars any advertisement for conducting sex determination and punishes violators with imprisonment and a fine. And finally, it mandates compulsory registration of all diagnostic laboratories and ultrasound clinics. With that, let's move on to the next issue in news today, which is regarding a scheme for the promotion of BPO work among women. The government is planning to expand the scope of rural BPO that is business process outsourcing jobs and thereby encourage greater participation of women, particularly housewives. Towards this end, the government is offering special incentives up to 1 lakh per individual in the form of viability gap funding under the said scheme. Given the poor participation of women in the labor force and the falling rates of employment in the formal sector, the scheme is very important both from the prelims as well as the mains perspective. With that, let's move on to the next issue in news today, which is regarding the ongoing tussle between India and Pakistan at the International Court of Justice. The issue is in news because Pakistan has filed a counter petition against India's plea to prevent the execution of alleged Indian spy Kulbushan Jadav who, as we know, was previously sentenced to death by a military court in Pakistan. India was successful in getting a stay on Jadav's execution and we had seen in my previous videos as well that Pakistan finally relented in allowing Jadav's wife and mother to meet him. What is important for us from the examination point of view is the International Court of Justice and its jurisdiction, which differs with respect to contentious issues and legal questions where the advisory opinion of the International Court of Justice is sought by the 
organs of the United Nations. I have discussed the issue in further detail in my previous videos and I request you to go back and watch the same. With that, let's move on to the next issue in news today, which is regarding the ongoing ministerial conference at the World Trade Organization. And as we all know, India has taken a firm stand that discussions on any new issue at the WTO can only happen once the commitments under the Doha development round are met, which includes its demand for a permanent solution for the public stockholding program of various developing countries and their right to food security. I have discussed in depth regarding the various challenges in front of the WTO which questions its credibility and I discuss those who have missed it to go back and watch the same. Today's article is talking about India's opposition to attempts of linking gender with trade. In this regard, India has made it clear that it strongly supports gender equality but it does not consider that gender is a trade related issue. This is basically because by linking gender and trade, the advanced economies of the world could set high standards regarding gender related policies, thereby curbing exports from the developing world. And also, India feels that discussions related to gender parity should take place at an appropriate fora rather than WTO, which is a purely trade related body. Otherwise, it would set a precedent to bring non-trade issues such as those related to labor, environment, etc. as already demanded by various developed countries. To support our argument, the news article is also talking about how women's rights organizations around the world have expressed dissatisfaction over the developments at WTO and its failure to arrest the growing inequality and exploitation of the vulnerable sections including women around the world. With that, let's move on to the next issue in news today, which is regarding the recent induction of INS Kalwari into the Indian Navy. UPSC has previously asked various questions in the prelims examination regarding new technologies be it about the missiles or other defense equipments. So let's briefly see some details about INS Kalwari. The INS Kalwari is a Scorpion class conventional submarine developed under Project 75 of the Indian Navy. It is designed to operate in all theaters and has multi-mission capabilities ranging from anti-surface warfare to intelligence gathering and surveillance. But the most important ability of this particular submarine is the superior stealth capacity compared to the other submarine platforms the Indian Navy was previously operating. As I said earlier, INS Kalwari is part of the six Scorpion class submarines built under Project 75 of the Indian Navy with technological cooperation from France. With that, let's move on to the other issues in news today. The first one being on the steep rise in the value of Bitcoins and the subsequent crash in the prices of Bitcoins. The article today in the Hindu is talking about the regulations needed on the cryptocurrencies and how the lack of regulations has created vulnerabilities to the investors in bitcoins. I have covered the issue in detail and the various vulnerabilities of the bitcoin in my previous videos and I request those who have missed it to go back and watch the same. The next issue is concerning the disqualification of Mr. Sharad Yadav and Mr. Ali from the membership of Rajya Sabha recently under the provisions of the 10th schedule of the constitution that is the anti-defection law. I have discussed the various provisions under the 10th schedule and the applications of the provisions in this particular case in my previous video and those who have missed it, please go back and watch the same. The other issues in use include 
the comment of Indian and Chinese foreign ministers on the Doklam crisis and the comment of Organization for Islamic Cooperation against the remarks made by US President recognizing Jerusalem as Israel's capital. Both these issues have been discussed in detail along with its implications on Indian interests. And people who have missed it, please go back and watch the same. With that, let's wrap up today's discussion. Please do like, share and comment to support this initiative. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.